Hello and welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a long time since I've done a tutorial um, or any kind of video, but I'm back and I've been MIA for a while because I started working. I work at an elementary school, but today I decided I was going to do another video. So here it goes. I'm going to show you how to make these adorable pumpkins. I really like how they turned out. They're really simple to do. They're a lot simpler than it may look. And no glue involved, um, just yarn and sticks from outside. I actually got these sticks from my, one of my bushes. They had a little, I don't know, it looks like it's kind of dying, but, but I snapped them off and I think it looks adorable. Anyway, but you can, um, if you don't have sticks just outside your door, you can go to the park whatever that it's just a, a inexpensive home decor fall tutorial so without further ado let's move on to the tutorial okay so for this tutorial uh, for this project we are going to need uh, thick yarn like really big yarn because you could use smaller yarn but it will just take a long time to do it and to make these pumpkins it took me probably 30 minutes but that's me i i knew i know how to do it and but my first one probably took about an hour to figure out to do so um i first started with the regular like four worsted weight yarn and it took forever and i don't think i ever finished so i thought well let me try it bigger yarn and it was a lot faster and a lot cuter. I really like the way they look with with thicker yarn. So try to find thick yarn. I, I found this yarn at Hobby Lobby. It was $4.99 but it, I think you could make one full one with with one skein. You could make one and a half I would say. And I got this color yarn there as well. This yarn I got at uh, Walmart. So they had this yarn, but they didn't have orange or yellow or anything. So go to Hobby Lobby for the more pumpkin ones, pumpkin looking ones. And then, I mean, this is, there's white pumpkins out there. So this is, I really like this one too. Anyway, all right, enough of me rambling. Let's get on to the to the video. Okay, so I am going to make a gold pumpkin and it is size six um, weight. And today we are going to be using a pea. Right, we're gonna need scissors. We will need a yarn needle with a big eye so that you can weave in your ends, stitch the pumpkins together and cinch them. So, all right, so let's, sorry, that was really loud. Okay, so let's get, let's get started. All right, so um, to start, I'm just gonna cut this frayed edge off because we don't need that. It's just gonna get in the way. So we'll just cut that off. All right, we're going to need a slip knot. And also I like to leave a tail, leave a long end because it will just be easier at the end when we stitch it all together. So just leave that long tail. Okay, so now for this for this size pumpkin so this pumpkin is about the size of my hand so and i it's a good size for me if you want to go a little bit bigger you can there's definitely wiggle room with this because this size pumpkin takes a, probably a little more than half of the skein so if you want to go a little bit bigger you definitely could okay so but for that size we're going to chain 16. and 16 okay so okay so now when we go um, when we come back and we stitch we're gonna go, turn it around and go in these little back bumps we're going to do be doing half double 
a half double slip stitch. That's what I'm calling it. I don't know if that's the official term, but the way you do it. Okay, so um, you're going to start in the second chain from hook. So one, two, you're going to flip it around and go in that back bump right there. And it's totally optional if you want to do the back bump. I like it because when you are all done, you have this nice edge, but it's optional. And it, I know it takes some time to get used to it. Um, anyway, so for the half double, uh, half double slip stitch, so you yarn over, you go into your stitch or the chain, yarn over, pull it through, and then pull it straight through those loops and that is a half double slip stitch. So you're going to yarn over, go through the next chain, yarn over, pull it through, and then through the rest of those loops. Yarn over, pull it, put it through the chain, yarn over, pull it back through, and then right through those loops. And you're just going to do that until you get to the end of the row. And then I will show you what to do next. We're going to find that last chain, that last bump, and we're going to go through it. Then yarn over, pull it through all the loops. Okay, so now I just like to pull on this little tail just to get that tight. And then you're going to chain two. You're going to turn your work. Okay, so there's where we're going to go in. See how the bottom is a nice row of stitches. So it looks nicer. Okay, so we're going to we're going to ignore the chain and we're going to go right into the neck, the first stitch. So we're going to yarn over, we're going to go through that back loop. So we're going to yarn over, pull through, and pull through. Alright, so the back loops are always away from you. So, so we're just going to go in that back loop, yarn over, pull through, and pull through. Yarn over, pull through that back loop, yarn over, pull through. And sometimes it's easier um, as you're going to hold it like this, then you can see what you're doing on this other side. Especially when you're first starting out on the rows. It's kind of hard hard to see what you're doing. So however you need to turn it, if you need to turn it like that, if you need to turn it like that, go for it. And crocheting is really forgiving, so if you mess up, you can just pull it out and start again. Okay, now we're to the end. We're going to chain two. Then turn our work. Okay. Alright, so now, don't get confused. It's not this that we're working in. It's this one. No, I okay, so, when you turn, it's going to look like this is the the row that you go into, but if you turn this way, it's actually this way. So you could tell because um, here's the chain that you just did, and so it goes right into that. So we're going to start right here in this back loop. So when you yarn over, if you turn your work like this, then you can see that better. So you go in and then you can pull it through. 
but if you go like this then it's hard harder to see it so I just turn it it's just easier turn it this way and you just keep going just keep doing this until you get, until you, it measures about 12 inches, the whole thing measures 12 inches, okay? So I will see you in a few after this measures 12 inches and then I will show you how to finish off your pumpkin. And I will see you back when this, when this thing is 12 inches. All right, I think I need to go one more. Yeah, I think it's this one. One more. There we go. All right, so then chain two, turn, and then flip it over. That is where you work, not this right here. You go in the back loops. All right, I will see you when this thing is 12 inches. And now let's make sure that that's, I can, I can make sure it's all straight. Okay, that's good. Okay, so now we're going to finish it off. So how we're gonna finish it, we're just gonna um, do a, a slip stitch and just a normal slip stitch. And then we're going to pull it out a little bit so we get a pretty long chain or a pretty long end. We're gonna snip it off and pull it out and then pull it tight. And now what we're gonna do, so now we have you know what? I should have I should have ended it where this is on this side because when we put it together, then I usually like to stitch it up about halfway and then stitch this one that way but that's okay we'll just we'll just deal with it okay so so when you guys make your pumpkins just think about that it'll be easier that you could just like tie it in the middle anyway but that's okay we will deal with it and it'll be fine okay so how what we're gonna do is we're going to since we went in the back bump when we started we're, then we have a nice little row of you know nice stitches so we could just go right under there so under both loops so what we're gonna do is we're gonna start we're gonna go under that under both loops and then we're gonna go under both loops on the side and we're going to pull it through and then now you can either go like this and go back on on the next one or you could just or you can loop it over here and just go just keep going like this so it's like but I think I'm going to go like this and just loop it like that either way you can do whatever you want you can go like that or you can bring it back and just keep going in like this Okay, so I just I just triple knot it just to just to give it good just for good measure. All right, so and I'm not gonna worry about that because when we turn it right side out, nobody will see that. 
So I'm going to turn it inside out. You can't really tell where I where the seam is. Okay, so we're going to thread this needle and then I'm going to show you how to thread it through the top um, and the bottom. So we're going to do the bottom first. So what we're going to do is we're going to, I guess it doesn't matter which one the top and the bottom is, but you want to go in at the very top of the pumpkin through these little stitches. So for this one, I'm just going to go in this one, this top one, and then I'm just going to go right over this and through this one. And I'm going to pull it through and just being careful not to pull it too tight that this that it doesn't pull all the way through. So we're just going to do that all the way around. I'm going to get as close to the top as you can. And then once you get all the way around to the other side, you can cinch it up and tie it.